In the early 1980s, the U.S. Air Force started developing an advanced tactical fighter to replace the F-15 Eagle and the F-16 Fighting Falcon. The fighter would use new technologies, such as composite materials, lightweight alloys and stealth technology. A request for proposals was issued in September 1985 and seven companies responded. In April 1991, the YF-22, developed by Lockheed teamed up with Boeing and General Dynamics, was announced as the winner. The YF-22 flew for the first time in September 1990. The production version had notable differences from the YF-22. The leading edge sweep angle of the wings was decreased, the vertical stabilizers were moved further back, the canopy was adjusted, as well as the engine intakes. The production version was also heavier than the prototypes. Initially, 750 aircraft was planned. However, this was adjusted to 648 in 1996, and in 1997 the number was adjusted to 339 aircraft. The number was reduced even more in 2003 to 277, and in 2004 to 183 aircraft. This was later adjusted to 187. The F-22 used many new technologies, which led to cost overruns and delays. Some planned capabilities were moved to future upgrades, which increased the total cost of the program. The original plans of the U.S. Air Force of 750 aircraft was expected to cost $44.3 billion, but by 2011 the program cost was around $67.3 billion for 187 production aircraft and 8 test aircraft. The need for the F-22 has been widely debated. It was claimed by some that the Raptor was not relevant in post-Cold War conflicts. There were also issues with the reliability of the aircraft. In December 2011, the last F-22 was produced. The F-22 Raptor is a fifth-generation fighter, and is the first aircraft that combine the abilities to supercruise with supermaneuverability, stealth technology and sensor fusion. Supercruising enables the aircraft to sustain supersonic flight without using afterburners. The effectiveness of the sensors and weapon systems increase because of the high cruise speed and operations altitude. It also gives the aircraft better protection against ground threats. The aircraft has two Pratt & Whitney F-119 PW100 turbofan engines that incorporate pitch axis thrust vectoring nozzles. This gives the F-22 excellent maneuverability. Max speed is over Mach 2 with afterburners. Since the aircraft has internal weapons bays, it has a comparatively higher performance than most other combat-configured fighters. Titanium alloys and composites comprise a large part of the structural weight. Through sensor fusion, the avionics of the F-22 filter and combine radar sensors and external systems into a common view for the pilot. This reduces the workload for the pilot. One of the most advanced systems on the F-22 is the ALR-94 Passive Radar Detector. The Passive Radar Detector increases the stealth capability of the aircraft. The APG-77 radar changes frequencies more than 1,000 times per second, making it harder to detect for enemies. It can also be used for electronic attacks, by focusing the radar emissions and overloading enemy sensors. The F-22 has the ability to function as a mini AWACS, allowing it to designate targets for allies and coordinate friendly aircraft. Besides the three internal weapons bays, the F-22 has an internally mounted 20mm M61A2 Vulcan rotary cannon. It is also able to carry weapons externally on four hardpoints on the wings, however this degrades the stealth capability of the aircraft as well as the maneuverability. The F-22 entered initial service in the U.S. Air Force in December 2005. It proved very capable in initial exercises. Full operational capability was reached in December 2007. The F-22 has been deployed to Kadena Air Force Base in Okinawa, Japan. In Alaska, it has been used to escort Russian bombers approaching American airspace. The first deployment in the Middle East was made in the United Arab Emirate in 2009. The first combat sorties were made during Operation Inherent Resolve in 2014, when American forces attacked Islamic State forces in Syria. In 2018, the F-22 was used in strikes against pro-government forces in Syria. In 2017, the Raptor also participated in bombing Taliban opium production in Afghanistan.